Hi plant friends, it's Destry. Welcome back to my kitchen today. Um, today I'm going to be showing you how to make a jacko plantern or a table centerpiece for your holiday table this fall. Um, I hope you stick around and check out the video and check out this fun, easy planty project today. <music> Halloween's over, I feel like everyone always jumps to um, decorate for Christmas, which is great, but I like to backtrack a little bit and put up some decorations for Thanksgiving. Um, traditionally, I've hosted Thanksgiving here at my home, and unfortunately, I'm not hosting this year, but I do want to create a centerpiece for my sort of dining room, sort of autumnal Thanksgiving table. So this is um, what I've got so far. So let me show you what I've got here. So I went to the craft store and bought this uh, foam pumpkin on steep discount. And I actually did this last year as well. So I was able to reuse this from last year. I attached with hot glue, just a really pretty ribbon, some you know moss and some pine cones from my yard. I might actually add more of those if I need to, but I went ahead and got some plants to put in this um, vessel today to put on my Thanksgiving table. So let me show you the plants that I got that I'm going to be working with today. So here's what I've got that I'm going to be working with today. These are all succulents and um, I was able to grab these at my local nursery. Um, these are hens and chicks, which are a sempervitum. I've got um, a Scottish moss. I've got um, Delasperma, jewel of desert amethyst. So this one does bloom. Probably not this time of year. That's another Sempervitum. This is a stone crop perennial sedum. And this one, I believe, yeah, that's another Sempervitum there. You can usually tell the Sempervitums because they're, you know, they're circular like that. So these are the plants that are going to be going into my Jacko planter in here. So here we go. I'm going to go ahead and fit as many as I can in there. Um, I did put down on my kitchen counter one of my little, um, planting mats to hopefully not make too much of a mess, but I'm going to try to fit as many as I can in this vessel today. So here we go. So a couple of the tools I have today, I have this cool little shovel. Um, this is going to help me kind of tuck some things down in here. My favorite pair of gardening gloves, I will link these in the comments, and it's going to be kind of tricky. I'm, I'm laying this on its side, and I'm just going to start to kind of push these four-inch potted succulents sort of down into the center. And I'm going to try to fit as many as I can in here. Now, some of the ones um, I might actually be able to split as well, but I'm going to see how many I can kind of fit down in here. Now, if I need to, I can remove some of the root ball here and remove some of the dirt to kind of help me squeeze them in there. So I think I've got two in there and they're kind of supporting themselves now. So now I'm going to try to um, get in there with another one. In fact, I think I want this purple one just to have a difference of color. I think I'm going to go for this one. So if I have leftovers, I actually have a couple other projects that I could use them for. But so for this one, it's got a lot of extra dirt. So I'm just going to take some of that off and I'll kind of scoot this over. I'm going to try to kind of push this in the side here. And then I'll be tucking some dirt around the edges. You can also find these um, kind of pumpkin forms that are already hollow. This one was, a, you know, a solid styrofoam one. So I just, um, you know, hollowed it out the best that I could. But you could also start with one that's already hollow. And that actually might be a little easier. But I just had this one from last year, so I wanted to reuse it. Um, last year, I planted it up with some um, African violets. And it was just really pretty. Um, Obviously, this is not a permanent, you know, display. Um, I will try to keep it for as long as I can, maybe, you know, through the month of November, and then I'll probably take take it apart and do something different. Um, but I'd like to try to keep it for as long as I can. Okay, so I'm kind of just pushing these around a little bit, and I think I might backtrack a little bit of this dirt out of this one as well, and just kind of pop it in the bottom because I've got it pretty. Um, Deep. So I'm going to kind of manipulate the root balls and the dirt, and they are pretty damp, so that's actually helping me as well. So I've got one other one. I think, I think what I want to do actually is move this one over. What I'm trying to do is vary the um, colors as well. 
And these ones that are kind of draping, I want to kind of drape over the side if I can. But I don't want the two of the same greens to be like next to each other. So here's what I've got so far. And where my hand is, I'm going to try to um, kind of force one more down in there. I think it's going to be this one here because it's got a really pretty kind of like blue hue to it. I also have um, just a nursery, you know, uh, paper box, cardboard box here that I'm kind of using to kind of mitigate the mess here in my kitchen. But it is a cold and rainy day here in Oregon. So it's the perfect day for this kind of project where I just want to be in my home. I kind of went out to the greenhouse for a while this morning and checked on all my plants, but it's just a nice day to be indoors. Okay, so I pushed all that towards the edges and I still have a little bit of room right there in the center. So I think what I'm going to try to do is actually get one more down here in the middle if I can. And I think I might go for this moss. It's got a really pretty um, kind of like limey green color in it. And I apologize for the camera angle today. I actually finally ordered a new um, a tripod. My tripod's been broken for a while and I've been kind of just, you know, trying to use it. And finally today it totally broke. So I kind of just got my phone propped up on whatever I had around here. Okay, that one's not quite fitting. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna split this little moss heap because it's not quite fitting in there. I'm just gonna give it a little haircut and make the root ball a little smaller and jam it down in there. That's why I like projects like this too. I mean, I bought these plants specifically for these projects, so if they get a little damaged in the process, I'm not that worried about it. Okay, so now I'm gonna take a look and see if I've got any you know, areas where I might need to push a little bit of dirt down in. I do want all the roots to be you know, covered in dirt. So I'm kind of being careful. And I think that little, um, that little shovel is gonna come in handy. So right here, I can see that I've got like a little area where I can stick my finger down in. So I'm gonna try to force a little of this extra dirt kind of just down in there because I do want the roots to be covered. So I'm gonna use this little shovel just to kind of help me push things down in. And I can always go through um, and hot glue a little bit more moss or a few more pine cones if I feel like I need to. But I'm guessing that this is gonna fill in pretty nicely if these do um, grow a little bit. And this is just gonna go on my dining room table, like I said, for sort of a display. So it's sort of like having, um, you know, cut flowers on your table, but a live, you know, kind of planting display. So again, I'm not, it's not permanent. And I think that's the only spot where I see kind of like a hole. And that's sort of on the side. So overall, not too bad. I think what I'll do is this little moss that I pulled off, I think I'm going to try to tuck a little bit of that down in that little section there and see if I can sort of fill up that in. And this um, jumpy vitamin I'm going to put back in its pot because I didn't end up using that one. I can use it in a different pot. So if you've never played around with succulents, they're actually really, really fun. Um, they're very forgiving, they're easy to propagate, and they're just, um, they're, they're kind of fun to work with for different arrangements and things. So I would encourage you to give them a try if you've never tried succulents before. Oh yeah, that turned out good. So that little spot where I kind of had that hole, I kind of just pushed a little bit of this moss in there. And then there too, and use my little shovel. Sorry, I can't see this. I'm just pushing that down in there instead of just having the dirt just because it kind of had a little empty gap. All right, I think that's looking pretty good. All right, I'm gonna get um, the exterior of this cleaned up and then I will show you the end result. I'm also gonna show you some of my uh, fall Thanksgiving decorations in my home because I do like to decorate for Thanksgiving, not just for Christmas right after Halloween. So I'm gonna show you a little bit about, about that too. But it's all done, pretty cool. Pretty fascinating. Real quick too, I'm gonna take um, my little paintbrush and just try to remove any of the dirt that got on the actual plants themselves because I don't want the dirt sitting on the outside of my display. Okay, so I'm just gonna kind of go around and it's, there's not too much, but 
around the edge here with my little thing. Okay, so here is my dining table. I've got my kind of fall candle here that I'm gonna light. Um, and here is my design. And I have to say my jacko plantern or my autumno plantern, I'm gonna use a little hot glue and get that pine cone back up there today. Um, yeah, it turned out really nice. I like all the textures of the different plants that I used. And all of the plants I used today were pretty damp, so I don't even have to water anything in at this point because I don't want to put too much water on this anyway. Um, I love this tablecloth that I have for my, you know, fall table. And yeah, let me take you around and show you a couple other um, areas of my home where I have some plants and some kind of Thanksgiving decor. So this is my plant rack and in a future video I'll be showing you guys how I created this plant rack to have um, lighting. It's pretty simple. I just got the lights on Amazon and they all hook together but you can see all my plants are really happy here. And then over here on our piano I do have just a couple fall pumpkins and a couple more plants um, that are happy here by the window. My mantle up here is looking very fall. Um, again, I'm not ready to decorate for Thanksgiving. I love this little like bunting that I got. I got it at a craft fair. One of my friends made it with the little pumpkin pie slices and some fall animals. And then over here, I've got my floating shelves. So I try to change up the decor of them. Um, the paintings that are here, the little squirrels and the, um, the thankful or the give thanks the owl and the thankful. Those are all watercolors that I've done. And then I've got some family photos and a couple other things. Over here, I've got my little gather together, a little wood sign that I, that I purchased. Um, this is my other spot where I usually do a little bit of display. So I've got my little turkeys that are sitting here um, and a wood sign that I lettered with um, metallic pens says thankful so I made that little wood sign as well and then in my entry I'll turn on the light here I've got um, my kind of some garland around my circular mirror and my little antique table um, that was gifted to me by my mother um, got that set up too it's kind of just like a little tear tray these lights are nice or these candles because they're automatic and then they come on every night at the same time and they look really pretty and um, it's kind of dark in this corner so it's a nice um, little spot to have some light so yeah I'm excited to have my little jackal plantern over here or my um, centerpiece I think it goes really well with the display so hopefully it gave you some ideas for doing something fun and planty with your holiday table this season all right, guys, thanks for checking out this video. I hope that this gave you some inspiration to do something fun and planty if the weather is not cooperating and you can't get out in your yard. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe, and I will see you next time. Bye.